Another example for the derivative of trigonometric and exponential functions. So let's have number one. Find the derivative of f of x is equal to 3e e raised to x power. So in this case, you have to apply the constant multiple rule and rule number one of the derivative of exponential function. So we have f prime of x is equal to, copy the constant, that's 3, and the derivative of e raised to x power is still e raised to x power. So this is the derivative of mm, e, uh, 3 e raised to x power. Okay, example number 2, we have g of x is equal to negative 4x squared e raised to x power plus 5x e raised to x power minus 10 e raised to x power. So we have to get the derivative of each term. So the first two terms, we have to apply the product rule. And then for the third term, we have to use the constant multiple rule. So first, um, let's have the derivative of the first term. So since the first term is negative 4x squared e raised to x power with respect to x, um, let u is equal to negative 4x squared, v is equal to e raised to x power, so u prime is, using power rule, we have negative 8x, then v prime is still e to the x power. So cross multiply, so we will obtain negative 8x times e raised to x power minus 4x squared times e raised to x power. So this is the derivative of the first term. So we have g prime of x is equal to negative 8x e raised to x power minus 4x squared e raised to x power. Next is the derivative of 5x e raised to x power. Again, um, product rule, let u is equal to 5x, then v is e raised to x power, u prime is 5, v prime is e raised to x power. Cross multiply, we have 5 times e raised to x power plus 5x times e raised to x power. So this one is the derivative of the second term. So we have plus 5e raised to x power plus 5xe raised to x power. Then the derivative of the last term, which is we have to use the constant multiple rule. So we just copy negative 10, then derivative of e to the x is e raised to x power. Okay, next is we have to combine like terms. Okay. So we'll start with the highest degree. So we have g prime of x is equal to negative 4x squared e raised to x power. Then combine these two terms, negative 8x e raised to x power plus 5x e raised to x power. So it will give you negative 3xe raised to x. Next is 5e raised to x minus 10e raised to x. So we have minus 5e raised to x power. So this is the derivative of given number 2. Example number 3. 
so we have um, h of x is equal to e raised to x power sine x minus 3e raised to x power cosine x. So get the derivative of each term. We have two terms here and you have to use the product rule again. So first term Um, first term is e to the x times sine x. So let u is equal to e raised to x power. Then v is sine x. So get the derivative of u and v. u prime is e raised to x. Then v prime is, um, recall the derivative of trigonometric function so the derivative of sine x is cosine x so cross multiply this will give you e raised to x power sine x plus e raised to x power cosine x okay so we have h prime of x is equal to e raised to x times sine x plus e raised to x times cosine x. Next is the derivative of the second term. We have um, negative 3 e raised to x times cosine x. Therefore, you have to apply the product rule again. So, let u is equal to negative 3 e raised to x power. Then, v is cosine x get the derivative of u and v u prime is a constant multiple rule so the same negative 3 e raised to x then v prime um, the derivative of cosine is negative sine x cross product we have negative 3 e raised to x times cosine x. Negative 3 e raised to x times negative sine x is positive 3 e raised to x times sine x. So this is the derivative of the second term. So let's copy negative 3 um, e raised to x cosine x plus 3e e raised to x times sine x. Okay. So next is combining like terms. So we have h prime of x is equal to um, we have e raised to x sine x plus 3e raised to x sine x. So that will be 3 plus 1 is 4e raised to x. Then copy sine x. Next is e raised to x times cosine x minus e uh, negative 3e raised to x cosine x. So minus the answer is 2 e raised to x cosine x. So, as you have noticed, um, there is a common factor. So, let's uh, simplify. H prime of x is equal to um, common is 2 e raised to x. So, factor is 2e raised to x times so first term divide by the factor we will have 2 sine x then second term divide by 2e raised to x that will give you negative cosine x so this is the derivative of given number 3 Okay, 
Um, example number 4, we have y is equal to 17 over e to the x times x to the e plus 2x minus 3 times the square root of x. So there are two ways on how to answer this. You can use quotient rule or chain rule. Okay, so um, in this given, I will use um, quotient rule. Therefore, we have to um, let u, which is the numerator, which is a 17. Then v is the denominator, which is e to the x times x to the e plus 2x minus 3 times the square root of x. Then um, find the derivative of u and v. So since this is constant, u prime now is 0. Then v prime is, um, we have three terms here. And for the first term, you have to use the um, product rule. So let's um, use the product rule to get the derivative of e to the x times x to the e. So we have the derivative of e to the x times x to the e. Therefore, we have to let u is equal to e to the x. Then v is x to the e. Then u prime is, um, since this is e to the x, is the derivative is still e to the x. Then v prime is, um, you can use the power rule here. So e times the coefficient of x, that will be e. Copy the variable x, then subtract 1 from the exponent. So it will now become e minus 1. Then cross product, we have e to the x times x to the e plus... So, multiply e to the x times uh, e. Okay? So, we have to add their exponents. So, it will now become e raised to x plus 1 times x to the e minus 1. So, this is the derivative of e to the x times x to the e. So, we have e to the x times x to the e plus e to the x plus 1 times x to the e minus 1. Okay. Um, for second term, uh, the derivative of 2x is 2. Next is um, we have negative 3 times the square root of x. So, uh, this one can be written as negative 3 times x raised to 1 half. So, we will use the power rule here. So, um, derivative of negative 3 x raised to 1 half, that will be 1 half times negative 3 is negative 3 over 2. So, we have to subtract 1 from um, 1 half. So, that will give you negative um, 1 half. Therefore, we can write it as negative 3 over 2 times the square root of x. Now, we have um, u, v, u prime, and v prime. So, just uh, remember, um, low d high minus high d low over low squared. Or just um, get the uh, product of u prime and v. So, cross. So, we have um, y prime is equal to 0 times e to the x times x to the e plus 2x minus 3 times the square root of x. Since this is quotient rule, so the operation here is subtraction, then multiply b prime by u. So we have um, 17 times e to the x 
times x to the e plus e raised to x plus 1 times x raised to e minus 1 plus 2 minus um, 3 over 2 uh, times the square root of x. Okay, so all over um, squared of the denominator. So we have e to the x times uh, x to the e plus 2x minus 3 times the square root of x squared. Okay, then perform the operations. So this one will now become 0. And in this case, we have to um, distribute negative 17. So we have y prime is equal to negative 17 e to the x times x to the e. Negative 17 times this is negative 17 e raised to x plus 1 times x raised to e minus 1. Then negative 17 times 2 is negative um, 34. Then negative 17 times um, negative 3 over 2 square root of x. So that is positive 51 over 2 times the square root of x all over okay, um, the square root of the denominator. So e to the x times x to the e plus 2x. minus 3 times the square root of x squared. So, this is the derivative of this given.